Hello guys, welcome to Define Agile, my name is Anatoly and here we talk everything Agile and today we're going to talk about the new UI that Jira recently implemented. So they changed NextGen project in Scrum to company-wide versus team managed projects. I just want to give you guys an update which one to choose, which one I would choose and what is the difference. So let's jump into it. If you have a new Jira cloud, we can click on create project. Now we see those three things, Kanban, Scrum, and backtracking for software development. Don't get afraid, you still have all of those other things you can do for human resources, and we're gonna be looking more at those soon. But for now, for software development, Kanban, Scrum, it shows last created, so you can click on Scrum now. Before, it would show next-gen project versus classic. Now it shows what Scrum is. It explained very nicely, which is pretty cool. When you say use template, here you need to choose a type. And here is where it is a little bit confusing. For me, I was like, okay, team managed versus company managed. And then it shows that um, this is maintained by your admins, it's maintained by team themselves, uh, detailed permission scheme, this has access level permissions. And interestingly enough, advanced features uh, which is something like uh, creating parallel sprints. You can do that now. You can perhaps some agile recording, pulling issues for projects on your board. Uh, there are a bunch of things in here that I don't find in team managed. For me, team managed is what was next gen. So I cannot create multiple boards. I don't have enough. Uh, I cannot go deep into permissions and stuff like that. So this is very slim down. Versus company managed, I can have multiple boards. If my team has uh, different departments like design and stuff like that, I would choose company managed even though maybe my team manages the board, I don't know, but I would still do that uh, because it just gives you much more features than the other one. And uh, pulling issues from other projects on your board is also really, really cool that you might need sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, this one, Let's create actually one and then let's see what happens. Test, team managed. Then you need access level, you can have it open. I'll create private one and then click create. So this is exactly what you would see, maybe not exactly, but very similar to what we would see if you create next gen project before. You have plus here, you can configure things in here. Uh, there's no really way to have uh, multiple boards in here. So you'll just have your board, your backlog, your roadmap. It's pretty, pretty slim down. Now let's create the other one. So I click on Scrum again, I use template, and I click on uh, select company managed. Uh, multiple boards, I'll call that way. Create. And this is what we usually see. This is what I like to see, active sprint board versus backlog. You can create as many boards as you want. So this gives you a lot, a lot more things to work with, creating releases, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if I were you, and if you're following my tutorials, I recommend you to always create company-wide just because it has so much more features. And if you're totally confused, treat this one as a classic and the other is as next gen. They just decided to rename everything, which is a little bit confusing in my opinion, but we figured it out. So a couple of things before we go. If you guys want to learn Jira in about eight hours, I have a course called Jira for Beginners. You can go in the get help section description for this video and get that. Also, if you're stuck and you know what to do, everything changed, Jira changed all the UI and you're like, I don't know. I just losing it. And I totally need your help. Go to get help. They have a calendar link. And you can schedule time with me and I can help you out. So those are two things I offer. If you like the video, if you think it brought you value, please like and subscribe because this is how we can spread to more and more people. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.